Also, if you guys get a chance to check it out a little bit later, walk around the store. If you've got a sweet tooth, check out Logan Candies as they make some ribbon sweets. So technically, it could be candy canes or ribbon candy at this point. Or we're going to start off on a red color today. We're just going to put a little bit of color on there like so. And mix it. This time of year, we carry about seven or eight different flavors. And add just a slight more flavor to it real quick. Just add a little cheese cake. And then we're gonna add a little cake batter, more cake. Mm. And then we'll mix that in here. Just like we did the color, but we're just gonna mix the flavor in a little bit. Now you can see with each and every pole, the color's gonna get a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter. Very similar to the way you might whip egg whites at home, or how you stretch out a rubber pan and the color lightens up a little bit. We're right over here in front of the table. And we'll put it all together. Two, couple different pieces here. And four should be enough. We're going to cut our yellow right down the middle. We're going to cut our pink right down the middle. So there's a little bit of white. We're going to maintain that red in there. Next we're going to do our yellow stripes on the outside of that. Put further here and there for just a second. We're going to take our white stripes. We're going to add a little bit more white. You put the, uh, if you get mixed the two colors together, then you, of course you end up with a third color. So we're going to put our two white stripes on the outside of the yellow. Put two pink stripes on the outside of that. Now I have a race car full of colors here. So <laughs> we're going to begin to stretch this out here. This is actually going to be the stripe of our ribbon candy. More stretching, more pulling. I'm going to take my big white block, we're going to set it right on top of the stripe. So now I've got my stripes on one side of the block. We'll wrap it around. So now I've got both stripes, both the sides of the block wrapped with stripes. And it's still pretty warm on there. So we're going to wrap that right around there like so. And as you can see here, we either have ribbon candy, a turtle shell, or some sort of a holiday toilet seat cover. I'm not really sure what's there. Stretch it out just a little bit. Also, if you guys get a chance to check it out a little bit later, walk around the store. We have other candies that we make right now, firstly, I must apologize. There is nothing worse than watching one of these videos and then not being able to try the product. And I'm as gutted as you are. But it is great to see these people making these sweets. With many products, it's just great to get an insight into how it's made. And the origin of these sweets has been traced back to the ancient Egypts, who made their sweets by combining fruits and nuts with honey. And around the same time, the Greeks were using honey to make sweets and flowers. However, first modern sweets weren't made until around about the 16th century. And sweet manufacturers developed rapidly within the 19th century. But regardless of the history, regardless of where you're from, regardless of your age, there's a sweet out there for everyone nowadays. From Werther's Originals to nerds. We all have a sweet tooth and we all enjoy a treat. But anyways, that is all from me here today at the Viral Group. Make sure to submit your videos for a chance to be featured.